Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alina and in today's tutorial I will show you how to make these gorgeous elegant stud earrings. Uh, you're going to be needed some 10 millimeter pearls, some bicons, 15 or seed beads and some delica. You don't need a lot of uh, uh, materials. It's a fast stitch. We're going to create a brick stitch around the pearl and then going to make this uh, gorgeous fringes. This is how it's looking on the back. I will also show you how to attach the stud, this uh, cup, the ear stud. And the best thing is that you can make this um, earrings in one sitting, which I think it's a big plus for any bidder out there. So let's get started. Let's review the materials. You're going to need a beading thread. I'm using Fireline Smoked Color. You're going to need um, a glue to attach the... Um, the ear stud cups. I'm using E6000. You're going to need um, two 15 no seed beads, two colors. Of course you can go with only one color if you wish so. You're going to need some three millimeter um, bicons and uh, two colors of uh, Miyuki Delica 11 -0. Again you can choose only one color if you want. You're going to need two um, pearls 10 millimeters and two uh, uh, cups to attach to the pearls so um, you can wear them of course and a beading needle these are the colors uh, i use for the earrings but for um, tutorial purposes i will change this color and i will be using contrasting colors so it will be easy for you to follow my instruction so let's get started Start by adding 180 centimeter or 60 inches of thread and we're going to wrap our thread around our pearl. So I'm going through the hole like this and instead of leaving a tail we're going to use the tail to make a knot. So I'm going to knot one time and I'm trying to make the knot on top of the hole like that. And then I will make a double knot, which means I will wrap my thread two times. One time, and then another time, like this. And I'm just going to pull tight, right on top of the pearl, the hole, like this. And now, as you can see, we have one thread on one side of the pearl. I want to go again. I want to have two threads on each side of the pearl. So like this, you see I have two threads here and then I will go through the other side and I'm make sure the tail is not uh, uh, wrapped around and I will go one more time. I'm going to pull. So basically I have two threads on each side of the pearl. I want to make sure um, this tail it's uh, not coming between my strings. Just like this. If I can pull it. Let's see. When I'm making it this way I will leave the tail for a while and I will start making uh, the brick stitch around the pearl. So we have two threads on one side, two on the other. You're going to be picking two uh, Delica 11 0 and you're just going to go through the under these two uh, strings that we just added here. Make sure when you do this to not scratch the pearl with your needle. So we're going to pull like this and then I'm going through the last Delica I added and I'm just going to pull slowly and like this I situated two uh, Miyuki uh, on the string. So now we're going to pick up only one Delica. I'm going under this strings here I'm pulling slowly and then back through the last Delica I just added. This is the brick stitch 
and when I'm pulling I make sure they sit one next to another pick up another delica go under the thread then back through the last delica you just added and pull so as you can see the delicas are starting to surround the pearl you need 20 uh, 11 o delica to circle the pearl so you're going to keep doing this until the whole pearl is surrounded by um, 11 o uh, delicas just like this one by one let's see going through this both of the strings we add and then back through the pearl uh, through the delica we just added let me show you one more time just make sure they sit uh, close to each other and they uh, when you pull they kind of sit in the right places like this and then I'm going through the last cut just like this so uh, you have to add 20 and I will meet you right back to show you what's the next step so I added the first layer of brick stitch on my pearl I just need to add one more bead before I do that I will just cut this uh, um, tail that we added initially if you see there is extra uh, thread I'm just going to do like this so I have 19 delicas I will just pick one more and I'm just going like we did all this time under the strings I'm just going to go back through this one and now what I want to do actually is I want to connect the last uh, delica with the first one so I will just go through this one the first delica we added in this brick stitch row and I'm going to pull and then go back to the last one I'm just trying to connect the rows and to be um, close to each other like this so now we're going to add the second row of brick stitch so in order to do this we're going to pick up two delicas the other color and my thread is exiting here I will just go immediately under the thread that's in between this two delica I hope you can see it so my thread is exiting this delica I will go in between this thread we're working like this so I'm just going to pull and now we have two more delicas situating on top of the previous round and I will go through the last delica I just added and I'm going to pull so let's add one more Miyuki let's see so our thread is exiting this delica on top I will go through this one you see right here and again I'm just going to go through the delica and I'm going to pull let's pick another delica our thread is exiting this one I will just go here so not very close on the next one and I'm just going to pull and then I'm going back through the delica I just added just like this now pick another delica and go let me show you not immediately through this um, thread next one just like this so not like uh, we attach the first two the neighbor one I'm going to go back through this one and I'm going to pull now pick up another Miyuki let's see now I will go between these two 
right here. Like this. So right next to the um, Miyuki down on top like this. So I'm just going to pull and then go back to the same Delica. So we're just adding the second row. Don't worry if it look uh, it's looking loose. Anyway, we will be covering with beads and uh, crystals, so it will not show. I picked up another Delica. I will go through this thread right here. So this is where I'm coming. I want to situate it on top of this one, so I will go through the thread next to it. And I'm going to go back through it and pull. Just like this. Let me show you one more. I picked up one. I want to add it here on top of this so I will go through the under the fire line right here. And then back through the Delica again. One more. So you see this one have already a Delica on top. I want to add it on this one. So I will go between this and the next one. Just like this. So now you will have a total of 22 Delica on this row, so not 20, 22. Pick up another one. Go through this one. And pull. So keep doing this until the end and I will show you how to attach the last one. And make sure you have around 22 delicas on the second uh, row of brick stitch so see you in a minute welcome back so i added the second uh, layer of brick stitch i just need to add one more bead which i will add it with you together so i'm exiting through this delica i will go in between these two like this from down just going to pull and I want to, of course, I want to connect this uh, uh, Delica with the one that we added in the beginning of this row, just like this. Let's see. And I will go through the second one too, so the two delicas and I'm going to pull and now I want to exit any delica from top the silver one in my case so there you have it now that we added two layers of uh, brick stitch we have a blue one and a silver one now we're going to embellish around which is the fun part and it's super super easy so I will meet you right back after I arrange on my beading mat the next material we're going to need which is going to be the 15 oz and the um, three millimeter bikens welcome back now it's time to embellish this uh, brick stitch so our thread is exiting one of the silver delica on top we're going to pick up three four for uh, 15 oz seed beads, any color you want, uh, a 3 millimeter bicon, and again for 15 oz seed beads. So this is the sequence: four 15 oz, a bicon, and four 15 oz. So my thread is exiting this uh, this delica on top. I want you to just skip. The next one and you go on the uh, on the downside of the next delica so let me explain better so our thread is exiting this silver one I will skip this one I want to go here but I notice if I just go through this one the beads are not um, circled the uh, pearl so nice so I want to go through the silver uh, blue uh, delica under the silver one together like this so I my thread is exiting this delica I skip one I go through the next one but I want to go from down 
which is the blue one too and I'm going to pull and this is going to make like a peacock like a fringe like this so we're going to repeat the process you're going to pick up 450 nodes then you're going to pick up a three millimeter bicon and 450 nodes and our thread is exiting this delica I want to skip the next one and I will go through this so here as you can see not every um, uh, the silver delica has a, correspond a correspondent uh, blue uh, delica on the bottom but you're just going to eyeball it and just to go like this the most important thing is to skip one uh, silver one and go through the next one but from the bottom part like this you see how the fringe is going to surround the purse so so much better when we're going to do like this so pick up four 15 now a three millimeter bicon for 15 now the thread is exiting this delica I will skip the next one and go through this but from downside so we're going through the blue and the silver one and I'm going to pull so you're going to be added 11 11 fringes like this so now we have three let's add one more together four pick up four fifteen oh a three millimeter bicon and four fifteen oh the thread is exiting this miyuki i will skip this one and go through the next one but from down so i will choose the blue one two just like this and I'm going to pull so as you can see we have four now four fringes and you're going to do all around until the last unit and I will meet you right back to show you how to add the last one welcome back so I have 10 fringes I need to add one more so I will going to pick up four 15 nodes and then a three millimeter bicon and then four 15 oh one two and the fourth one and let's see now so our thread is exiting this Miyuki right here I'm going to skip this one and go through the next one but from the downside make sure you don't go through the 15 or from the other fringe just like this and I'm just going to pull so this is our first base uh, of embellishment we added these fringes which I think they look gorgeous and uh, if you want to leave it like this you can totally do this but we're going to add one more row of um, embellishment so now we're going to pick up 950 nodes just 50 nodes a different color so I have two four five six seven eight nine nine fifty no uh, beads and our thread is exiting now it's a bit harder to see it's exiting this delica so you see there is this um, spaces in between I want to go through this bead so let's see if I can show you maybe from the back so our thread is exiting this delica I will skip I will go through this actually you see right here because this is the gap then I will go here and then here and so on so let's see if I move this here I want to exit this delica from here so I will just do the same thing find the bead under doesn't matter which one and I want to exit through this delica that's uh, free here right here when I'm pulling I'm making sure my fringe it's not going to overlap and it's going to be situated between this Two crystals one just like this so now we are ready we're going to pick up again and we're going to exit in between the next two rows of fringes with crystals so pick up nine 15 nodes three four 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's see. Our thread is exiting, it's situating in between these two fringes. I want to position it here. So I will go through, let me show you. I want to exit this 11 or right here, which is three. I will go through the blue one and the silver one, just like this. So if you look from the back, our thread exiting this, this you skip one because it's already occupied with the other fringe and go through the next one. So basically we fill uh, up the gap now in between the fringes we just added. I'm pulling slowly, slowly. And there you have it. This is the second row. Now pick up again, nine, 15 nose, two, four, six, eight and nine okay let's see it's easy actually when you from the, my perspective it's easy i hope you can find it easy also so exiting here we have to go with our needle here so i will just i don't even look to see which blue one i'm attaching i'm just finding a blue that i can put my needle and i can go through the silver one from here also and put all the time make sure your fringe is situating it so you see how it's looking right now so let's add one more let's see two four six eight and nine we are here in between these two uh, fringes right here I want to go here this is the one so I will just go through the blue one down and the silver one I think here you can see so much better and I'm going to pull again and I arrange it with my hand make sure it's staying in between like this so there you have it this is uh, the only thing you have to do let's add one more though two four five six seven eight and nine as you can see it's a very very easy um, the, um, design uh, it's not taking a long time to make it you can make it in one sitting I love this kind of designs who doesn't so there you have it we are exiting this 15 no I want to go right here so I will just go through the blue one under and the silver one and I'm going to pull So there you have it. So you keep doing this until the end and I will attach the last one together with you. Welcome back. So we're going to attach the last uh, fringe together. I added 9 15 on seed beads. Our thread is exiting this Miyuki. So I just want to go through this one right here. So I will just find the blue bead and then I will connect it to with the blue and the silver just like this let's see if because it's the last one it's a bit more tight but definitely I want to go through a blue one and a silver one so I will just go like this blue and silver there you have it make sure when you go like this so do not go uh, on top of the previous loop so I will just going to pull and make sure it's positioned correctly so there you have it this is the whole thing you have to do this is how it's looking on the back i think it's beautiful on the back too now we're going to wave our way around so i will go through this two daily cards right here like this and pull 
make sure to not um, catch uh, embellishment in the process then I will go back to this delica it's they are super tight so it's a bit more difficult just like this So you're going to wave your round a couple of times until you, f you think your thread is secure and then you're going to cut it and then I will show you how to add the ear uh, stud cups. So let's see, I will cut my thread and then I will uh, use my uh, lighter to just finish this so there you have it so i will meet you right back prepare your glue and the paper and i always like to use a toothpick uh, to add the glue so uh, prepare all this and i will meet you right back to show you how to attach the ear stud welcome back let me show you how to attach the cups to the earrings i will attach it to the gold one i created earlier so you're going to take your uh, E6000 glue which is special glue for jewelry I like to add a little bit on my paper and I like to use a toothpick to help me um, glue so I will just take my my cup and I'm just going to add the glue it's helpful if you're going to actually scratch this cup with a scissor or something like this or a knife because it will create a surface uh, better for um, adding the glue and to attach it to anything you want so I just add some glue and then I will this is the back of our earrings I will just add it like this on top of the purse and I will leave it in this position at least 24 hours so I will make sure the glue is completely dry so we're going to do the same thing for the other cup don't add a lot of glue make sure it's uh, spread it all over this um, uh, metallic cup and then I will just add it like this and then i will keep it until tomorrow but don't worry i will show you in a minute the final results so this was the project for today i hope you enjoy it if you did please don't forget to hit that like button and please uh, let me know in the comments if you think of any colors or which color you're going to try and um, uh, which uh, occasion you're thinking of wearing this kind of jewelry so until then stay safe and i will see you soon Take care and bye-bye.